Hi, I am Guillermo del Toro from Toronto, where we are pre-producing Pacific Rim, a movie with giant monsters. And uh, I'm here to announce the winners of the short film competition. It was very hard to judge. I saw every short. Um, a lot of them were incredibly impressive in terms of production value, ingenuity, and uh, just simply the way uh, some of the HPL inspired or HPL straight stories were adapted. Um, I think that there's a lot of talent in the competition. It was hard, but we, you know, I even even although I made the decision, I couldn't actually uh, just single uh, one short. So a very close runner-up uh, is a short called uh, Black Goat. It was really really good. I thought it was incredibly intriguing. It reminded me a lot of uh, Algernon Blackwood. You know, it has this sort of uh, wilderness, pastoral, horror atmosphere that is actually impeccable and really well made. Uh, but the, the, the two shorts that came in uh, to first place, because I declare a tie-in, um, were as good, uh, but they were uh, more ambitious uh, and somewhat uh, ultimately more coherent. But I, I love Black Goat. I, I cannot say it enough. I wish there I could tie three shorts for first place. That was my intention, but the organizers forbid me from, for, from doing so. So if you directed Black Goat, great job. Don't feel discouraged. You're fantastic. And, uh, and I hope you, you win next time. Uh, the two winners uh, are uh, Static Eons, which is a fantastic short that is very evocative. It captures the spirit of H.P. Lovecraft in a beautiful way. It has uh, the echoes or, of urban fear that Lovecraft felt constantly that are evident in all his stories. Uh, Eric San, particularly, you know, these lost streets, uh, amorphous uh, mappings of cities. It's really, really quite a beautiful, beautiful, evocative, poetic, unique and powerful uh, piece of short filmmaking. I urge you all to see it. And the other one is not strictly a, a Lovecraft uh, film. It's inspired by Edgar Allan Poe's uh, poem, The Raven. And uh, this short, The Raven, is just full, choke full of great ideas, techniques, uh, narrative jump cuts. Uh, it really takes the text and makes it come alive in a different context. It's sort of Barton Fink meets Mario Baba meets Edgar Allan Poe. But it's truly, truly well made. Uh, the three finalist films are all uh, incredible demonstrations of what you can do with a lot of ingenuity, a little budget, and a true vision for what you want to make. I congratulate you, and I hope you become huge filmmakers, not in the way I have become huge, which is my pant size, but in your career. Thank you.